1994, Caroline and Mark Patterson bought a piece of land in Tauranga to start a wildlife park. They did so to give something back to the community, a place for kids and adults to come and enjoy. Today, the park is home to turtles, rare skinks, bearded dragons, waterfowl, pheasants, the list goes on. Once up to 200 people a week popped in to see them, but not anymore. And now a large loan they took out to buy the park has been called in. So the park goes up for auction tomorrow, leaving the fate of the animals very much up in the air. Tony Reid went to visit a Noah's Ark on the rocks. Hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. No, you're not allowed in that one. Come on. Hello. Hello. Caroline Patterson is mad about animals. When you hand raise them, it makes such a difference. Hello. They've been the focus of her life for the past 14 years. When she and her husband Mark bought their own piece of paradise just off State Highway 2 in Tauranga. Oh, the good boy. Hello, Harry. How are you? You say bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. We wanted to build our own little Garden of Eden. We planted about 6,000 plants and gradually added in more animals. And it just feels like this is our purpose, this is what we're meant to do. Over the years, they've transformed what was a pumice quarry and sawdust pit into the Living Art Wildlife Park. Home to 600 animals, Simba the dog and Caroline feed every single one of them every single day. I've had um, two days off in 14 years. I had to have an operation. So it's just been every day, but I, don't, I love it. It's a kiriru that we're doing rescue work on. It can't fly properly. So we just rehabilitate them until they can be released again. The animals seem happy. Who wouldn't be when greeted by a smile like this? But what they don't know is that the park is in trouble. Caroline and Mark are broke. They owe hundreds of thousands of dollars. We um, uh, can't satisfy uh, the mortgage company. Um, they've, they've called in their loan and um, we haven't been able to pay it. That loan is worth 240000 Mark and Caroline owe 400000 more to another lender. It's as bad as, bad as it's ever gotten on the place. Uh, we've, we've worked with no money from the start and we're still working with no money. It's money putting into the birds and animals. So, yeah, I suppose that's where we're at at the moment. It's a mortgagee sale, yeah. It wasn't meant to be like this. The big plan was to turn this into a recognised wildlife park that would bring in the crowds and revenue. But the playground is incomplete, the picnic area empty, and the snack bar, nothing more than a shell. We couldn't afford a lot at the beginning. Um, we wanted to do some pathways, but um, couldn't afford the cement, so we got given a whole lot of broken cobbles. So it took me months to piece them all together. It's the biggest jigsaw piece of puzzle I've ever done, and that's how we made the pathways. They built an aquarium too. All the children seem to know about Nemo, and this, we've found Nemo, and he's in the fish tank. But keeping Nemo and his other mates in a warm aquarium isn't cheap. The power bill is $1,000 a month. So Mark and Caroline have no other choice but to sell up. The auctioneer's hammer will come down on their dream tomorrow afternoon. When you've seen it look like a blank canvas and you see what it looks like now, it's... When I think of like a bulldozer could just come in and a week later it could, it could just be all gone and it's such a waste, you know. It's uh, nice to have somebody ring us and um, let us know how they're feeling. Between yes. now and then, Mark is yes. devoting every minute to finding new homes for the 600 strong family. We might have enough to buy another piece of land and and do this, we're going to have to get rid of a lot of some of the animals and uh, that's, that's a sad thing and some of them might have to be put down which, is, which would be a, a, a real uh, disappointment, yeah. And while we were filming, someone dropped by to donate $50 to the cause. It's hard to believe that 14 years of memories will come to an end in less than 24 hours. Here's a wrap back. Aren't you? Hey? Do you have an idea of how you guys will say farewell to this place? Oh, no, no. No, no. I'll live in a container. I don't care. I'll live in a box as long as we've got our animals. Whatever happens, Mark and Caroline will handle it together. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> but the animal kingdom won't be quite the same without them.
Tony Reid reporting will keep you informed of what exactly does occur.